Hello, good and wonderful people. You are welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. So Aisha Buhari has again blow the trumpet. So before we get to what Aisha Buhari actually said, I want to show you lovelies something. Few days ago, I posted this post on my YouTube community post, and uh, I ask you lovelies to stay tuned if you need more evidence. And uh, I actually have all the information I needed, but for some security reason, because of what I received, I just decided to keep it to myself. But because of this, I received a lot of message asking for more details, more details. But I think for the sake of this video, I'm making, I think I have to like walk you guys through some of it. Okay. So this post was made by eric joycey and if you don't know who is eric joycey he's a former military officer a u.s military officer and also a politician so he made this post and um, he was actually sympathizing with nigerians on this post he said very sad to learn here of the death of president buhari whom i campaigned for thought with his wife at Aisha Buhari and family hashtag Buhari. He went ahead to said the president of one of the world largest and most sensitive countries died in London today in our main news bulletin, not a word hashtag Buhari. So this man made this post and some of the presidential aide came out to deny it and say that the president is not dead and the thing actually caused a lot of commotion which we all know then like the news went viral and everybody were aware of of it so they came out to deny them the claim that the president uh, was not dead so this same man again came out to say that it's not just by making mouth. If they know that the president is still alive, then the president himself have to prove it. Okay. So let me just read uh, some of the statement for you lovelies. So it says a British politician and former military officer, Eric Stark Joycey has again stirred up controversy over the head of president Muhammad Buhari. Joycey who insisted that Buhari is dead has now challenged the Nigerian president to prove otherwise writing on his website he said nigeria has an extremely capable acting president of course but if mr buhari is declared dead or permanently incapacitated then it will be the second time in succession that a nota muslim president has died and has been replaced by his Southern Christian deputy. This is a challenge in a country whose democracy is based upon a complex balance of different regional and religious interests. Okay, so I'm just taking that line, okay? If you want to read it, if you can, you can always come to Daily Post. That's why I'm doing everything to show my screen so that you lovelies can come make your research after this video. Follow me, I'm going somewhere. So after he made this post, it actually took them three good months for the president to come out to prove that yes he's not actually dead and that is when he came out to make the video and say that some people think that he's a clone that he is assuring nigerians that he's not cloned that this is really him a lot of people was uh, uh hoped that I, I was dead <laughs> and hope i died and uh poor vice president and so some people have started in fact asking for for his office, whether he should consider them for being the vice president because I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> they must have embarrassed him a lot because um, uh, he visited me uh, when, I, when I was uh, London convalescent. But uh, it's really me, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> celebrate my 70th university and I'm still going strong. <laughs> I only get harassed by my grandchildren, they are getting too many. <laughs> Now, he made that video to prove to Nigerians that he is not dead, as the man requested. Now, this is the main thing. The same man again, after some months, I think after a year or so, 
just uh, last year here may last year 2019 this man again came out and said i'm going to read it for you all very loud and clear to hear he said this post says breaking man posing as nigerian president is a contracted political decor eric joycey a british politician and a former military officer eric joycey has again stare an already existing controversy over the identity of the man occupying nigerian seat of power the ex-lawmaker had last year sympathized with nigeria over the report over the reported death of President Buhari. In his latest pants on Nigerian government, the former parliamentarian yesterday claimed that the present Nigerian president is not the Buhari Nigerians voted for in 2015, but a political decor who is on a contract. Recall that the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Nnam Dakano, has already consistently alleged that a certain jubri of El Sadani from Sudan has taken over from the president Buhari. Joyce challenged the Nigerian government to file a legal action against him if his claim of Buhari alleged dead is false. In a post he shared online, the ex lawmaker insisted that Buhari is no longer alive. He wrote, Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari is dead. The lookalike currently in charge of Africa's most populous country is a contracted political decor. If my claims are untrue, the Nigerian government should sue me. I repeat again, if my claims are untrue, the Nigerian government should sue me. Now, my question to you, I think I'm stopping it here. I'm not moving for, further than this one. I think I have reviewed a lot. So these questions, I'm just going to ask you, did the Nigerian government sue this man like you requested? If truly what he was saying is a lie. I think in such a sensitive issue, this is a very sensitive issue that should be taken serious. Someone alleged that a number one man of a country like Nigeria is dead and went ahead to say that if they know or if they say that what he is saying is lie, that they should sue him. And this news was swept under the carpet. It was not it was not really published. You know, the reason why we come here and talk, and most of you will say it's a fake news because is because you don't hear it from your favorite uh, television, which is all this channel television and that. But you forget. You all have forgotten that this media, all these medias that you are expecting to hear this kind of things from has been bought by these people. So they only publish what these people want you to hear. So if we that we that brings the real issue for you lovelies some of you will come here and say is a fake news and this thing is something that you can see on public domain that you can go verify you can go search on your own there are many evidences that prove it so my question is why didn't the nigerian government sue this man like he requested up to now they they, they sweep the, the issue under the carpet just few days here adams oshomule adams oshomule of all people said he will tell nigerians who is truly ruling the country and i read the national chairman of the all progressive congress mr adams oshomile has vowed not to step down as the chairman of the party blowing hot he said if i am removed as the apc chairman i will tell nigerians who is truly running the country now fast forward to what aisha buhari recently said the Nigerian First Lady Aisha Buhari has again vented her anger and frustration against some individual in the presidency who she feels may be undermining her husband's office. The First Lady, in a statement made public on Wednesday, specifically charged the president relative Mamanda Ora and presidential spokesperson Gaba Shehu of taking action in the president's name, even without the knowledge or approval of President Mohammed Buhari. Okay, so I'm stopping it here. All these things are read 
I tried as much as possible to show my screen. So you can go make your research. You can go. Everything is on public domain. And there are also more information. If you want to open your mind to really make research on this particular issue, there are more evidences and proof on public domain that you can get regarding this particular issue i've made my research and i know what i've gotten concerning this issue so you can make your own research a little part of what i've gotten is what i'm sharing with you lovelies i've a lot of message i've gotten a lot of message asking me for more details and that is the reason why i am doing this particular video now how can a acting president be sitting and alive and a presidential aide will be taking action even in his own name without his knowledge now this is just so little compared to what the first lady has said previously most of the things she have said we are not ignorant of it just few weeks ago or a few days ago tiwa danjimo uh, uh, said if he tells nigeria what is happening in this country they will no longer sleep again <laughs> so <laughs> me arrest my case i'm not going to say it more than this i said it that i'm making this video for most of you who were asking for uh, more details more details because some people are actually doubting thomas's and they are the reason why i made this video so nobody should ask me any question again if you know that after this uh, video or after this information i've put out for you that you still need more evidence to convince you there are also you can you know you thank god you are entitled to internet so you can make your own research find out and believe what you want to believe because people will choose to believe what they want to believe no matter what you text them so if you know that maybe after this one you still have your doubt you still need some uh distance some uh you still need to verify on your own you are very free nobody should ask they should, ask, should send me any message again or ask me for more details again or ask me any question again concerning this issue i think a, a word is enough for the wise so if you choose to remain adamant to what is happening in nigeria good for you congratulations okay so this is basically it for you lovelies i will still love to hear your own opinion on the comment section because you know you can never know it or if there is anything at all maybe you still want to share you can share with me on the comment section so let me know what you think on the comment section and with that i will just say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate every one of you you know your love your support they are so massive even when some people are abusing me on the comment section some of you will still be there to defend me like you all are so amazing i love you all and the, your support is not taken for granted even for one minute so don't forget to share this video like and subscribe and i will definitely see you lovelies in my next video remain blessed until i come your way next time bye bye bye